Hey guys, so thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the various ducks I make. And you can see I have five different products here. Uh, this product hasn't been released yet. I'm talking with Sean Church right now. It's a uh, church adapter, I guess is what we'll call it. Basically, it creates a vacuum at the top here to draw down the extraneous stuff that the D3, S9, and the L3 Plus will blow out the top over the fan. And this is based off of Sean's design. Uh, he's got a patent pending on that. Good on Sean. Uh, we've been in talks about basically building this retrofit part to accommodate these other ones. So the first one is the four inch part. Everybody knows it and loves it. It's been around for a year and a half, couple years, right? It is super common here in the States and in Europe. Um, everybody seems to be able to get their hands on 100 millimeter duct. This thing has probably sold in excess of two to 3,000 parts. The next one is the five inch part. The five inch part doesn't sell that well here in the States because obviously we don't have five inch duct. However, very popular in South America and Europe. Uh, this part, as you can see, is clearly larger. Um, you can literally take the five inch part and put the four inch part in it and you can see that you have lots of room. The biggest difference obviously between the two is the output, right? And the one thing that everybody talks about is, you know, the opening on the bottom of the 4-inch versus the 5-inch. The reality is, is that you're, you're blocking it up here. Once you go down to that 100 millimeter 4-inch opening, it doesn't really matter as long as you're larger than that opening below here. That's why I don't really believe in all the hype about the extra 2 millimeters here on the side. Because the, the fact is, is that the case fan is 120 millimeters wide. The blades are not 120 millimeters wide. On the five inch though, we did we did open it up a little bit and it went a little wider. And you can see that the opening is definitely wider. The five inch part also much larger uh, opening. Now if you look at the throats on these, the throats are set up so you can actually get a duct on there and, and fasten it on. I don't particularly care for the ducts that have the short throats because you can't do a lot with them, right? Because it could slip off or whatever the case is. Um, one of the competitors has a, a nice feature that he had in a, a ridge to help catch with that, and that's great. You know, good on him. Great design feature. The last one uh, is the one that I recently designed is the six inch part. The six inch part's a little different than the other ones. The six inch part, the bolts go on the inside of where the duct is. You can see basically you attach this to the fan, and then literally the duct goes over the whole fan. You can see on the bottom here, I've actually mod it to match the back side of the ant miner case so this will actually is bigger than the 120 millimeter fan opening it's the same size as that case opening and this is the the biggest part that i make uh it's the six inch dual um this part is huge and that's why you see such a price difference between the parts this part typically weighs in about two ounces and everybody that's printing these knows you get about 16 parts to a reel, maybe 14, depending on your density. This guy here, you get about 12 to 14 per reel if you're printing these at home. Uh, print time's a little slower, but you get a better part. This guy has got a print time of about two hours per part. Uh, it weighs almost two and a half times as much as a four inch part, and that's why the price is higher. But look what you're getting. You're getting something that does six inch output. You can use it with insulated six inch ducting. This guy here is also about a two-hour print, and you can see that basically it allows you to put this on the backside of a D3, S9, or whatever the case may be, and then catch that transient heat up here and have it come out there. And this is based off of Sean's design. This part will be available on Sean's website once he gets it up and going, so everybody's kind of tracking that. Um, if you want to take orders beforehand, please let me know. You know, we'll definitely get you guys out some of these parts. The difference between Sean's part and this one is Sean has a dedicated Venturi, so he gets a higher vacuum because he's not retrofitting. So where this really gets used as, if you guys have standard shrouds and you don't want to make that switch into a whole new straw, but reuse what you have. And it's a cost savings too. Again, great job, Sean. Nice design work there. And then this is the dual. Um, initially designed a four inch dual about a year ago and it worked pretty well with the S7s. The problems where we ran into it were with the S9. You had to add an inline fan with the four inch version to really get that draw so you didn't run the melting problems or with over temperature on the, uh, the ant miner. This one's fresh off the printer for a customer. As you can see, it still has the strings on the inside. 
With the six inch version, I would still recommend that you use an inline fan. And the reason I say that is most of the times you guys are putting almost 25 feet of HVAC line on here. And the reality is, is those ant miner fans are not going to push that much CFM down a 25 foot six inch hose. It just doesn't happen. You have to have something in there to boost it or help with it. These guys, the same story. You know, when you start running those long HVAC lines, you have to use the inline fans. Same goes here. So the reality is, if you have short run lines, you can get away with not using the fan. And that's why guys can use the four inch parts, right? Same with the five inch. Same with the big six inch here. Again, six inch dual. Uh, to put in perspective for you guys, this six inch dual is an eight hour print job. And that's why it is the price that it is, right? Um, they definitely have their applications. Uh, if you're in an environment where you don't have the ability to utilize a bunch of HVAC hosing, this would be something to think about because it incorporates the shroud along with a Y adapter to a six inch output. And that's a feature that some guys definitely live by. Matter of fact, one of the guys I know actually out in Iowa right now um, is running these exclusively with inline fans. And I will tell you right now, he's got a nice setup up in his attic where he's running D3s and S9s on behalf of some of the guys in his neighborhood, and they're all using this model with the inline fan. It's working out well for him. Uh, one of my guys in Florida is using the biggest part I make, an 8-inch version of this, with something similar to this backer on L3s, and he's venting that all out at basically an 8-foot hose, and he's having great success with that too. But really, guys, I just want to kind of get you familiar with some of the things coming out. And again, this will be coming out soon. Basically, once uh, Sean gets the uh, site worked up, we're going to put it up on his site and sell exclusively through Sean, since Sean did the original patent work on it. And, you know, hey, if you do design work, you know, you get the credit. And basically, like I said initially, the difference between this part and Sean's part that is designing, Sean gets a better vacuum because he has a dedicated shroud the whole way out. So where you guys really want to use this type of part is if you want to retrofit your existing miners that have 4-inch shrouds or if you're going to a 5-inch duct or even a 6-inch duct. That's where this part would come in hand. And if you're running duels, guess what? This will work with a duel. Just stack it in there, as you can see. And you run two of these with a duel, and you're now catching all that ambient heat, and it's going out, right? Basically, run two of these with a duel. That's where a part like this comes in hand. But again, guys, thanks for taking the time to stop by. Thanks for... Uh, kind of checking out what we've been doing. It's been a long time overdue, kind of doing a video on some of the products we're doing. Uh, if you guys have questions, feel free to shoot me uh, any notes you have. And uh, take care, fellas.